Trustly completes its acquisition of SlimPay. Trustly has announced the completion of its SlimPay acquisition, aiming to accelerate the development of the recurring payment landscape in Europe. Vopay launches Instant Microtransactions Verification Service. Embedded fintech solutions provider Vopay has announced the launch of Vopay Verify, an instant bank account verification solution via microtransactions in Canada and the U.S. Solutions by Text Partners with Prodigal Solutions by Text has announced its partnership with Prodigal in order to optimize customer finance in the U.S. with AI-powered intelligence. Xylo raises 25 million British pounds in Series A funding round. UK-based fintech specializing in global asset and wealth management software Xylo has announced that it raised 25 million British pounds in a Series A funding round. 10x partners with Mast. Cloud-native SaaS core banking platform 10X has announced its partnership with Mast in order to enable real-time services for the UK mortgage market. Plaid partners with PortX. Financial infrastructure and integration tech company PortX and Data Network powering the digital financial ecosystem Plaid have partnered to expedite data access and innovation for financial institutions. Adib launches its B2B marketplace. The Abu Dhabi Islamic Bank has announced the launch of its Adib Business Souk, a B2B marketplace developed to optimize the development of SMEs in the UAE. Rivero raises US$7 million United States dollars in Series A. Switzerland-based Rivero, a fintech specializing in digitalization and automating payment processes, has raised US$7 million United States dollars in a Series A round. Relay Payments partners with Maverick. Fintech company Relay Payments has partnered with Maverick to provide fleets and commercial truck drivers with an improved experience when paying for fuel. Edinred Payment Solutions partners with Think Money. Payment service providers Edinred Payment Solutions has partnered with UK-based e-money provider Think Money. Link Money partners with Opti for Pay by Bank. US-based open banking payment platform Link Money has partnered with Opti, a universal payments platform, to provide payment inclusivity. Amazon integrates Prime with Salesforce Commerce Cloud. Global giant retailer and marketplace, Amazon, has recently announced that its buy with Prime service will be integrated with Salesforce Commerce Cloud. And Trust launches post quantum ready PKI platform. Payments, identities, and data company and Trust has announced the launch of its post quantum ready PKI as a service, PKI AASPQ platform. One ID partners with VideoSign. Digital signature provider VideoSign has partnered with Document Free Digital Identity Verification One ID to further improve security options and convenience for users. Yoti raises 12.5 million British pounds funding from HSBC. UK-based digital identity company Yoti has announced that it received 12.5 million British pounds in debt funding from HSBC and 7.5 million British pounds from existing shareholders. Crypto reaches a turning point as the SEC approves Bitcoin ETFs. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission has approved the first U.S.-listed exchange-traded funds, ETFs, to track Bitcoin. Swiss Payments Fintech Rivero raises $7 million. Swiss payment technology house Rivero has raised $7 million in Series A funding to step into new markets and boost its product development and workforce. New Mexico lets customers receive payments from U.S. via WhatsApp. 
Nubank customers in Mexico can now receive money from the United States via WhatsApp thanks to a partnership between the digital banking giant and Felix Pago. ACI Worldwide takes over payment stack of UK retailer co-op. ACI Worldwide. NASDAQ. ACIW, a global leader in mission-critical, real-time payment software, today announced that leading UK retailer co-op has successfully moved its full stack of payments and fraud prevention technology software into ACI's multi-tenant cloud platform hosted in Microsoft Azure. U.S. Faster Payments Council reports on practicalities of ex-border payments. The U.S. Faster Payments Council, FPC, a membership organization devoted to advancing safe, easy-to-use faster payments in the United States, today published its latest research report, titled The Practicalities of Cross-Border Payments in a Faster Payments World. Trustly Completes Slim Pay Merger Tustly, a pioneer in open banking solutions, announces the successful completion of its acquisition of SlimPay, a leader in the European recurring payments sector. Following the initial statement on August 29, 2023, and subsequent receipt of regulatory approvals from the French Banking Supervision Authority, ACPR, this strategic move marks a major step towards redefining the recurring payment landscape in Europe. Think Money selects Edinred to upgrade cards and accounts platform. Edinred Payment Solutions, an Edinred company and one of Europe's market leading payment service providers, has been selected by UK e money provider, Think Money, to upgrade its card and account platform capabilities. Opinions split over SEC approval of Bitcoin spot ETFs. In a landmark judgment, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission has approved 11 Bitcoin spot ETFs paving the way for mass adoption of digital assets. Broadridge and Boring Money introduce consumer duty data service for asset managers. Boring Money, a financial data and insights business, has collaborated with global fintech leader Broadridge Financial Solutions, Inc. NYSE. BR, to provide a single source of data and insights for asset managers that combines product analysis with consumer perspective to holistically address the requirements of the UK's consumer duty regulation. Arantina's CSD adopts NASDAQ technology. Caja de Valores, Argentina's Central Securities Depository, CSD, today announced it has launched a new technology platform using Nasdaq's CSD technology. Apex launches standalone ESG unit, Holterra. Today sees the launch of new sustainability services brand, Holterra. Digiseek partners with marketplace platform TAP2. UK-based wearable payments tech provider DIGISEQ has closed a partnership with the TAP2 marketplace to provide customers access to their chosen range of wearables. UPI integrates with PayNow to support cross-border remittances. India's Unified Payments Interface, UPI, has integrated with PayNow to allow the India diaspora in Singapore to send remittances to recipients in India. Weave integrates a CH direct debit into its payment suite. US-based Weave has integrated a CH direct debit in its suite of payment services for an improved payment experience for its healthcare patients and providers. Currency Cloud partners with MultiFee. Cross-border payments provider Currency Cloud has partnered with UK-based cash flow management platform MultiFee. Walmart announces new generative AI-powered capabilities. Walmart has announced new AI-powered tools to help shoppers quickly search for products and automate the process of reordering frequently ordered items. New Mexico, Felix Pago launch new functionality. New Mexico, a subsidiary of Nubank, 
has partnered with Felix Pago to launch an additional capability that allows customers to receive money from the U.S. through WhatsApp. ECB allocates 1.2 billion euros for retail digital euro development. The European Central Bank has announced plans to allocate up to 1.2 billion euros to contractors to develop features facilitating offline payments for a retail digital euro. USDC issuer Circle files for IPO. Circle Internet Financial, the issuer of the USDC stablecoin, has filed with the Securities and Exchange Commission for an initial public offering, IPO. Karma Wallet goes live with $2 million capital injection. In a bold move to fuse financial technology with environmental stewardship, Karma Wallet has announced the launch of their Karma Wallet card, a groundbreaking new spending tool that redefines the power of purchase. Broadridge releases Genai tool for cutting settlement fails. Broadridge has launched a chat GPT-style large language model for streamlining back-office operations and cutting settlement fails. This concludes our current edition of the Bay Pay Forum podcast. Remember that you can read the full text of each article in our news section on baypayforum.com. We hope to see you tomorrow.